one bino adapter. It's a magnetic digiscope tool for your binoculars. All right, so MagView did not send me this. I purchased this with my own money because I think it's just a great product and I was just really excited to use it. So I'm gonna unbox this and show you guys. If you've watched some of my videos recently, like maybe my TAC videos or my elk hunting pack list video, you'll notice that I've already had this on my binoculars and I've run it for the last two months now. I wanted to get a really good feel for how this was gonna be, see if there was any quirks or anything that I wanted to bring to you guys to let you know so you know in advance. Let's get into the box. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about. First and foremost, the packaging. You know, I like good packaging for the materials or the stuff I'm gonna buy. It really sets an example of the product and the company before you ever open it. Like it puts a good feel, like you feel good when you get a box, like it's a solid box. It's just good packaging. You're like, man, this product's gotta be really nice. Look at the effort they put into their box. But it's not the box that matters, it's what's inside that counts, so let's open it up. When you open it up, you're gonna see that MagView has their little welcome to MagView card, and there's a QR code for the installation instructions of the materials in the box, but it's super simple to use. You could probably figure it out without it. I'm gonna show you guys how I installed this on my binoculars and my phone, and you can pretty much do the same. Included in the box, is going to be this backing plate that they have. This is a little piece of steel that they have that fits on the back of your cell phone. Whether you have an Android, an Apple, a new one, an old one, this is gonna fit. So I don't have mine directly attached to my phone, but I have my case, which is like a plastic protective case, which most people have. And I have this one, this is the original one I had. It's stuck to the back of it. I've had no problems with it. And you simply just peel the backing plate off and you're gonna stick it onto the back of your case. And it's, it's gonna hold. And then you can use it up against the binoculars or the S1, which is the spotting scope version of this. You can also stick it directly to your phone, but I like to have a protective case around my phone and I found that it sticks to it very well. That's easy. In the box, they're also going to supply you with the appropriate Allen. And then the thing that you're gonna need out of the last bit of this case, this is the eye cut piece for the actual magnet attachment for the back plate. This is what actually is going to mate these two pieces together and hold your phone up against your binoculars or spotting scope. Inside of this, they also supply you with a, I guess it's like a shim piece. So if you're running a pair of binoculars with really small eye cups on it, you can stick that, peel the backer off, stick it to the inside of this eye cup, and then you can install those on your new, on your binoculars with your small eye cups. I will say, the one little quirk that I did find when using this, so when you put this on the eye cup itself, the eye cup still wants to move. I had problems sometimes at TAC trying to hold it up and get my phone on here and it's wanting to shift a little bit. So I found myself having to like hold my eye cup closed all the way, get everything lined up and it was just one more step to the process that made it a little bit of a pain in the ass. There's an easy solution to it. All I did was I took a little bit of electrical tape and I just taped my eye cup down. I just taped it right to the chassis of the binoculars and I've had no problem since doing that. It's just electrical tape. It's not like I glued it down. I can peel it off if I want, but it leaves the eye cup down so you don't have to worry about it shifting on you when you put your phone on because these phones don't weigh nothing. When you put it on there, it's gonna to wanna to shift a little bit and it's not the magnet that's shifting, it was the eye cup in my case that was just moving a little bit. The installation of this is super simple. Take the MagView logo, face it up, stick it onto your eye cup, take the supplied Allen key and you're gonna to wanna to tighten this up but you don't have to wrench it down tight, just snug. And you're set, you're all set to go. One of the things that I thought maybe when I was getting this, man, this is really gonna make my eye cup stick up bigger. When I go to glass without my phone, is this really gonna, am I gonna notice it? Is it gonna be a pain in the ass? And when your eye cup's down, extend your left eye cup all the way. Now they're even on the same plane and honestly, you can put them right up to your face and I've had no problem. It feels just like I'm glassing out of the binoculars before I had this on. Fits in my bino harness with my eye cups all the way. I can close it, super simple. It lives on my binoculars now. Once you have the piece stuck on your phone, the piece on your binoculars, it's super simple. You just stick it on there. 
And then when you're done, you can take your phone off, put it back in your pocket. There's no extra parts and pieces, and that's the thing I love about it the most. I can leave this backer on, go about my daily life, and then when I go hunting, I don't have to remember to change my phone case or bring extra parts and pieces. I just bring my phone with me like I normally would, bring my binoculars like I would, and I'm ready to go to Digiscope. I think this is a great product. I'm really excited to get this in the field this year into the tree stand and get some really good Digiscope material from it. It's $100, I think. I'm pretty sure the B1 is $100, and it's totally worth it. Thank you guys for watching this video. My name's Jeff Cordero. Please continue to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you're subscribed because I got a lot of really good hunts coming up this year, and I want to get some really good footage with this Digiscope adapter. So stay tuned. If you want to see it, you got to subscribe. Catch you guys on the next video.